Moline hasn't made landfall yet, of course, but we are already tracking the very first injury related to this storm. WPTV's Ethan Stein is live in West Palm Beach right now to explain what happened. Ethan. Shannon and Megan, I really want to focus your attention to the crews that are working over by that power pole across the street over there. You know, a deputy with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office tells me that a lightning bolt hit that pole, which then detached the wire at that point, which blocked traffic along here on Military Trail. A man then got out of his car, grabbed the wire, where that deputy tells me he was then electrocuted. He says when he was on the scene, he saw the man who was still on the wire at that point when he responded. So he had to wait for Palm Beach County Fire Rescue, who then used a belt to drag him off the wire. Mikusta saw the scene. She says she heard a loud boom, then her hair salon lost power. She's hoping the man is okay. But she also says that she had to work quickly to get a power source for her customers inside. Their hair was wet, so I definitely had to just like, I, luckily I had an extra power cord just to plug it in, but that's why you got to prepare yourself for these kind of things. Palm Beach County Fire Rescue is asking people to not touch electrical wires on the ground. It says there's no way to know if the wire is live based on just looking at it. They're also asking people to stay away if you see an electric wire on the ground because the electricity can move through the ground. Now, this sidewalk that I was standing off, it was blocked off for quite some time. It's now reopened. This is actually where they had the wire up, but most of it's been cleaned up and power is being restored to the area. Live in West Palm Beach, Ethan Stein, WPTV News.